Doo, 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 doo. Hey, yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to another Thursday night live streaming of Soul Hunters with me, Worst F in Gamer. Let me just take the time out to just say, Welcome to the stream, guys. I'm glad that you're here. And uh, we got a lot of cool things to do today, but I want to apologize for anybody that's going to miss the stream ahead of time because normally I stream at 9, but I moved the time just an hour earlier for 8 o'clock for the simple reason that I just don't want to wait another hour, all right? Because you guys, when I don't play uh, on Thursdays when I got a stream, I can't really play the game all day, so I have to wait pretty much till my stream starts so I can get everything done, all right? So that kind of sucks for me. Because all day, I'm sitting around twiddling my fingers like, ah, I got an itch. It's like an addiction, you know, when you got a drug addiction. And you gotta do it. <laughs> but I can't really play it, right? So, I was like, screw this. I'm gonna do it an hour earlier. Because I can't wait. Today we had that new uh, update. We'll talk about that and all that good stuff, right? So, let's just say hello to a couple people here. Gorehound666. Six, 666. What's happening? Let's go. We are live. MRN. What is that? Mr. Nun? How you doing, man? Welcome to the stream, guys. I'm glad you guys are here. So let's continue, all right? First of all, let me just claim my dailies here. Oh, nice, Leon. So that's good. Let's do that. And uh, let's spend the stamina really quick, all right? I'm going to continue on here with Seraph in the Awakening. Let me just see how far I am here. Alright, because I did a few of these earlier because I had to spend my stamina in the morning, so I just... Yeah, I've done a couple of them, so let's just continue on with Seraph in here. Big Hands John! Hey, buddy! How you doing, man? I'm glad you like the time change. I was hoping that people don't mind it. Uh, I'm trying to get a good time on these Thursday live streams. I'm not really sure because you guys... Oh, Interstellar! You guys already know how hard it is to get everybody on the same time. Because everybody's got a different time zone, no matter where they are, so... Alright, so I guess that's enough for her. But yeah, Steel Blade, welcome to the stream. How you doing? 01532 Dark, hi, what's going on? G40, G-Force, Squeezing Kitties. <laughs> welcome to the family, thanks for the follow. Ronan, what's happening, Alex? Good morning, out in Russia, how you feeling? Alright guys, so let's begin with talking about the new prophecy pool that just opened up, alright? For me, I don't know about you guys, but for me, I love this feature, guys. It's probably going to be my new game, I mean my new favorite feature, right? Downer, welcome to the stream. How's it going, buddy? Kelso is here. Kelso Best. What's up, Kelso? Welcome, welcome. Did you get my message on Twitter? Gorehound, I did not get your message. I'm sorry. I haven't really checked my Twitter. <laughs> I should have done that probably, right? But just you can just tell me here. All right, so here it is, guys. This is going to be really, really awesome. As you know, I already posted a video on how to do this in extreme difficulty, all right? And then these are obviously the stuff. So for this one, I have to do it again, but I'm going to do it in expert, all right? Because like I said before, the first time you do it in each difficulty, you get a little bonus, like you get extra of the pieces. So I'm going to do this in expert difficulty. And then next time it comes up. So it's a different hero each day, all right? So that's why. And Kun Mayor 2. Anson Kun Mayor. Welcome to the family, man. I'm glad you followed, but I can't read names. I suck at that, so. <laughs> I can't. Wait, I can't finish it in extreme. Vasco, why not? What team are you using? Don't have a Killjoy. See, Killjoy really, really helps, guys. It's all about damage over time, all right? You need heroes with damage over time. So let's try out some different things, all right? So it doesn't really matter what heroes you use as long as they deal damage over time. Killjoy does a lot of damage because his second ability... JK94, welcome buddy, thanks for the follow. So, like I said, Killjoy does a ton of damage because his second ability does a lot of damage. Uh, I guess it's hard to explain, I'm probably better off just showing you guys. Because that's how I learn and that's why I do videos, because I'm better learning visually than I am explaining things. So let's just take for example Gale, alright? I'll just show you guys really quickly. So here she is. 
Gale's Poison Arrow does damage over time, right? As you can see, damage over time to a single enemy. So it does, um, let's see, 384 damage every 3 seconds, alright? So 384 damage. Now if you go to Killjoy, where is this lovable clown? Killjoy, his Elemental Sphere does damage over time, but it deals 644 damage per second, alright? So you can already see... From 294 to 644 is a big difference, so it, that does a lot better, right? So that's why Killjoy is a really good hero here. Uh, Gorehound has a question. I had a request if you want to do Arena. Could you please use Arachna, Garak, Ethera, Slim, and Gale? Arachna, Garak? Yeah, I'll do that, my friend. There's no tank there, but I've done Arachna tanks before. Let's do it right now, actually. Because I've been attacked, and I dropped down to 6. So I tried out Killjoy in my defense team, and I've been attacked a bunch of times that I lost. Huh. <laughs> Which is not good. So let me switch this one up really quickly here and put maybe Garak here. And Gorehound, I'll use your team right now, alright? Let's not go for first. Let's try out for second. So you, you want to do an Arachna tank. It's going to be a lot of damage all at once, which I like. Um, but it works. I'm pretty sure it's going to work because it's going to be... Unless... The only way it won't work... Let me see. I got the right team, right? Alright, let's try it out. Bam. This is for you, Gorehound. The only way this is not going to work is if they take... Yeah, see, they're going to take out Arachna quick. No, they took her out. Fallen. Seraphin Awakened. Mortis. He's got a lot of heavy, heavy damage dealers there. That's why it's kind of hard. Is it possible? I think they can pull this off. But it's going to be tough. Because it's right now it's 3 on 3. But Mortis... Ah, oh, one shot slim. Nah, it's going to be too hard. For this kind of lineup, I would have preferred to get a tank. This lineup, Gorehound, will work. But against the right team. Against a team like this where it's a lot of heavy, heavy damage hitters. Yeah, see, Seraphin Awakened and Mortis are really, really tough. That's why you need a tank against these guys. ZYV21, welcome to the family. Thank you for the follow, man. So, Gorhound, that's a, not a bad team. I use Arena, um, Arachna tanks all the time, all right? But against the right lineup. So, just be, you know, be aware of that. All right, guys, so let me... Not get off track here. Let's continue on. Muerto system. What's up? Where did they take this? Um, freaking lake. <laughs> uh, Ronin. I'm not sure, but let's talk about the upcoming bosses really quick. All right. So Polaris. This guy is gonna require you guys to do to have flying heroes. All right. So I recommend that you work on your flying heroes. I'm pretty sure that Mortis, Kara. They're going to be flying as well, alright? Because they levitate in the air. But Arcturus, uh, I can't think of a few right now. But I'll have to look at them later. So make sure you work on your flying heroes for him. And the loot for this one is going to be... Let's take a look. You got the Destruction Sword, which is good. So this is just another way to get extra loot, guys, alright? It helps out with the loot. Giant Havoc is probably going to be my favorite one. Not because I like Havoc or anything like that. But the Natural Remedy. It gives out a good, really nice... Um, you know, natural remedy there, which you can always use. And for the this one, what you're going to need is tanks, all right? Yes, Downer, or Osiris is a flying hero, so she's going to be very useful for this, for that flying one. This one is going to require you to have Flora. You're going to want probably Jasmine. You're going to want a Leon, because I'm not sure. It's just going to be big tanks, maybe Drago, big tanks, and healing, all right? You're just going to want to survive for as much as possible versus Havoc. He's going to probably do... Because you know why? I'll tell you why. I can already tell. Havoc has his ultimate ability, right? If he uses his ultimate ability and it doesn't kill somebody, then what he's going to do is cause damage to himself, all right? You're, you guys already know that Havoc's ultimate, if he doesn't kill the opponent, it'll cause damage to himself. So what's going to happen is he's going to use his ultimate, hit one of your teammates. If they're full of health, they're not going to die. They're going to survive. And he's going to cause damage to himself, and you'll be able to heal with Jasmine and then Flora, alright? So that's pretty much the whole gist of Havoc, I can already tell. Tom16 plays. 
Thank you for the follow, buddy. All right, so, and then Giant, ah, uh, Giant, Giant. So the Giant Firehawk is another pretty basic idea. What you want to do for this one is you're going to need heroes that are going to do f multiple physical damage. Heroes like Musashi that, you know, he slashes. Hanzo is going to be very useful. Um, Ezio, Ezio is going to be very useful. Um, Tarith, I'm not sure if a lot of people have Tarith, but Photo Clan, what's up? I'm not sure if a lot of people have Tarth, but you know how she does her ultimate, throws him in the air and then duh, 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 hits him up? She's going to be useful. So, Gale, definitely useful. Any hero that's going to hit multiple times, alright? Because what's going to happen with the Firehawk is, it's going to die, and then uh, you have to kind of hit it really quickly to finish it off. Um, I already know a lot of these things, I can already tell. But anyways, let's continue on here with the, date, with the dot damage hero. Gizmo, and I'm going to do Expert now so I can get that first time bonus. Alright, so I'm not going to use the team that I use for Extreme. So I can try out some different teams here, some different heroes. Alright guys, so let me know what heroes you guys want to try out. And then I can try them out and see if it works, alright? So I'll take some ideas here. I'll wait a minute and let you guys know. Alana will be nice there, Gabriel. Oh, uh, which one are you guys talking about? Alana where? Nice, you listed all heroes I don't have. <laughs> Basco, I'm sorry, but this is why I think they introduced this feature to the game. This way, it makes all heroes kind of useful, you know? It's kind of nice. Yes, JK, Xanos will probably be good for that Firehawk. Thalen is good there. Xanos too. Alright, so yeah, let's try Xanos, because Xanos has his... um. He's got the Neural Venom that he does damage over time. Uh, I want heroes with damage over time. I know uh, Vernos has damage over time. Arcturus has damage over time. So I just want to try out some different heroes here. Um, who else has damage over time here? Let me think. Let me think. I know Fallen does, but I already used Stalin. I want to use somebody else. Arachna, I already used her. Alright, let's go back. Let's just put in Killjoy. And last but not least, hmm, I'm going to have to use one of the top guys here. Let's go with, um, should I try something different and maybe use Jasmine as a healer? But you don't really need her. Dokras, I'm not sure if he's got damage over time, Downer. I don't think he does. Yeah, Kelso, that would be nice if it was five tries, but the problem is that would just be a lot of, you know, a lot of equipment every day. I don't think they wanted that. I think two is enough to get what you need. All right, let's just go with let's just go with Iraq Iraq. No, she's awakened and she's a beast. Be All right, so here it is, guys. A bunch of kind of different heroes here with Vernos and Xanos there. So let's see how they pan out. So Xanos starts off right away with his Vero uh, um, Venom there. Oh come on, don't slow up on me now. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Uh oh, he's attacking. Ooh. So now he's got to go into his ultimate. What I'm doing is using all of my ultimates to kind of stop him. Another good thing is this guy is not immune to crowd control. Meaning that, like, once I use Arcturus here, he's going to freeze. Because he's not immune to crowd control. You can stop him. So watch this. See, he froze. So that will stop his ultimate and give you some more time. Oh my god, he used his ultimate. But everybody survived. Go Iraq now. One more hit here, it should be over. Oh no, she died! Son of a gun. Last right before I killed him, she died. But either way, I finished it, even though it was two stars. That's okay. Let's find out. So. So it turns out Killjoy is the number one hero for Giant, for, what's his face? The Giant Gizmo, guys. Not even a question about it. Gizmo. And then that's it. Two tries, that's all you get. We got some pretty good gear there. And then that's it. Prophecy Pool is complete. And uh, gotta admit, I really do enjoy that, guys. I enjoy it a lot. I think it's a good feature and it's just another way to get more equipment, alright? So in my opinion... Thanks, Lilith. Good idea. It's a really nice feature. So let's open up this trend here. Alright, perfect. We've got four more of those Vernals there. 
So let me see the trader and if I can buy some things here. Yeah, let's buy these stuff. Let's buy this stuff. This. Buy some of these. Turn the volume up a little bit. Alright, so those are all the good stuff that I want to buy from there. Another thing, guys, that I almost forgot is... Uh, let's go to the exchange shop here and... If you haven't noticed, this guy is out in the shop. Where is he? Come on. Oh, I have to refresh, don't I? He's not there yet because you have to refresh. So let's refresh one time. Come on. What the hell? It's freezing up on me here. So there he is. I got to move my big head out of the way. Xanos, guys, in the arena armory, all right? Now, here's the question. Um... I was going for Ethera because I awakened her, right? So I want to go for her seven stars. But I also like Xanos. Xanos is a really nice hero to use. So I might start going for Xanos now because Ethera is already six stars, right? Ah, all right, screw it. I'm gonna go for Xanos now. Let's refresh one more time. All right, so I'm gonna go for Xanos six stars, and then we'll see where I go from there. So that's the one I'm doing there. Epic Arena. I actually wish he was released in Epic Arena instead because I have a lot more Epic Arena coins. Let's collect these three here and... Yeah, I have 10,000 of these. Because Seraphin, Riley, and Garic are already 7 stars, so there's not really much to do, but... Alright, 01532 Dark. Have a good night, buddy. Get some rest. So yeah, man. So I'm waiting for a cool hero to drop here. So let's continue and let's attack Avengers here for the number one spot. So I guess I can roll with these teams. I'm not sure. Yeah, let's do it. I don't really like to change my teams in the middle of a stream. Just because save some time. Let's see how these we're going to do here. But every time I do these battles, they lag like crazy. But... Yes, go around. I will check Twitter right after the stream, man. Don't worry about it. I will do it. Yeah, Photo Clan. Uh, I have a lot of uh, Epic Arena coins because I'm usually in the top, you know, one or two, and they add up. And if you already seven starred some heroes, then it saves a lot of coins. So, so far, so good. You know what? They could. That's a potential to put Cognac in Epic Arena. I don't see why not. Either Aqua, Cognac, who else is out there? Alright, so that first one was a victory! And, oh man, Arachna, wow. She did a lot of damage there. So that's good. Next up. Let's hope that we can get this win too. Outlaw, Outlandish. What do you think about the Outland Portal? <laughs> I just completed it right now. Right probably before you signed on. I actually like it a lot. It's probably my new favorite feature. It's very fun, obviously. You have to use different heroes for different heroes. Meaning different enemies are going to require different strategies. And it's fun. You know, you get more... You know, new feature with more gear. What's not to like? Oh yeah, Havoc. ZYB, that's a good idea. Havoc has... I'm not sure who's going to be the next hero released though. Whoever it is, it's either going to go... Shirley just came out for the Crucible of Fire. Hey! Your face, you're back, huh? Ha! <laughs> What's happening? Um... How many pieces do you have left of Seraphim? Uh, Kelso, I'll show you right after this battle, alright? What's it looking like? A defeat. So yeah, a pretty nice AoE team there. And let's try out last one here. This one has to win to go for number one. If not, well, he's got a pretty good team there. I uh, like that team. So I think, um, what was I saying here? What was the last question? I keep losing track of things. Becoming level 88 tomorrow. Photo Clana, 88 tomorrow and I am near 90. Recommend to awaken first. All right, so the first awakened hero, huh? I guess 
my suggestion for the first hero would be Arachna. If you have her, you know, ready to go. I think Arachna is a great hero and she needs it. I think she needs the Awakening more than pretty much everybody else. Mortis is really good, but in my opinion, Arachna is a lot better. You know, she needs the Awakening a lot more and we got our ass whooped here. What the hell just happened? Yeah, when she becomes awakened, she becomes really powerful. And not to mention. God damn it, I lost there. Alright, and not to mention that now with the prophecy pool, she will also be more useful for this guy, you know, the giant gizmo. So she'll help you out in that. And she'll help you out in the arena. A lot of people have her in the arena. Let me just check out the arena here and see. There's your face. This is your face, guys, in my game. High rank, he's got Awakened Seraphine, Awakened Arachna, Awakened Mortis, and he's in the chat. <laughs> anyway, so, yeah, so, there's Arachna, there's an Arachna, I have an Arachna, everybody has Arachna. So, I think Arachna should be your number one. Okay, so, quickly, let's check out Seraphine for the people that have, you know, tuned in after the, you know, beginning of the stream. Not you. Your thing wants to hog up all the attention. So here's Seraphin. So far I have how many pieces? 49. So let's say 50 pieces, alright? So today is Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Sunday I'll be done with her awakening. I mean with her first quest, first part. I'll have her uh, awakening item. And then I'll also get to do the next part, whatever that is, on Sunday. And then I hope that it's open either Monday or Tuesday. The next part of her uh, awakening. So if that's open Monday or Tuesday, she'll be done by Monday or Tuesday. Alright, guys? And then I'll begin probably Namtar. Oh, actually, no. I'm not going to begin Namtar. I'm going to begin this guy. And who asked me about the new guy? Somebody asked me about the new guy. But here he is. I've already oranged him up. Vespix. Yes. So he's orange. All equipped. I just have to... Um, you know... Pro Upgrade all of his gear, you know, enchant it and everything like that. But there he is. Abilities are all leveled up. So he will be my next Awakened Hero, guys. I can't, you know, wait for him. I really can't wait for Seraphine. I think she's going to be really, really beautiful. And she's going to be sexy as hell. So I want her. And then he's going to be next. I, I wonder what this guy is going to look like too. Because I feel like he's going to look really sick Awakened. And then his Awakened skill says whenever... Um, slow poison depletes enemy health. Vespix will regain some health and energy. So that sounds pretty good. So he's going to get some health and energy, f whatever he loses to them. So yeah, that's Vespix. Uh. So he looks pretty awesome. Okay, so there it is. That's Vespix. Um, now, I have a couple of upgrations to do, guys. Let's start off with Shirley. I'm gonna promote her, so I need, I saved up my gold so I can do some promoting right now. Yeah, Seraphine is really strong, I battled her in the arena a bunch and I've gotten my ass kicked because she's very strong, so I can't wait for to awaken her. So Shirley right now is 5 stars, nice, I'll be able to get her to 6 stars, not, you know, pretty close. Tanya? No. I just want to go up the ladder here and just see... Oh, Crusher. So let's promote the Crusher. Crusher, 5 stars. Nice. Next up. Torsen, no. Ember. Ember, Ember, Ember. Ugh. Well, the, the thing is, guys, if you, were, if you have already upgraded your Ember, it's not the worst thing in the world because she has this... Um, I think it's this one right here. Scorching Earth? Yeah, that's the one. Scorching Earth, which does damage over time. And it does a pretty good amount of damage, right? Gorehound. Man. Hey, thank you very much for the donation, man. I really appreciate it, buddy. Thank you so much. Wow, I didn't even notice that. I'm so lost in the game. But, yeah, thanks, Gorehound, man. You're the man. Oh, much love. Peace, peace and love. <laughs> but... If you've already upgraded Ember, guys, she will be useful for this giant gizmo as well. Because she does damage over time. So let's continue here. 
Ooh, Gus. Yes. I can promote Gus here. 1.5 million. So here it is. Gus at six stars. So he's a lot better now. Yeah, he's good. So who's next? No, not Killjoy. And I'm not sure... Oh, Boomer. Do I want to waste 4 million to promote Boomer? Nah. See, this is why I'm not going to do it because I'm not even using him and I could probably use that 4 million for other other things, you know? Yes, Downer. I will do some battles with Vespix for sure. Right after... I just want to check out everybody and see who I can promote right now. And then after that, I'll use him in some battles for sure. Because I like the damn guy. He looks pretty sick. Okay, next up. Who is it? Ooh, Isabel. Hmm. Do I want to promote her too? I think I'm going to wait until she has an awakening. They need to get her an awakening um, soon. Because she needs it, you know? She's a lot like Tarith, except a lot more uglier. Where's her card? Yeah. She's lacking in the boobs department. <laughs> so yeah. Tarith is probably a lot better. So let's continue on here with the promotion. And I'm not sure if anybody else needs to... Yeah, everybody else is prob probably already promoted. So that's it for the promotions. And the next guy that I want to work on right now, guys, is... um. Let me just see. It's probably going to have to be Hanzo. Hanzo is becoming a little bit more useful now. Um, Alright, let me catch up on some... I will try... Uh, Kelso! Uh, th there's a donate button at the bottom somewhere there. I'm sure you can kind of figure it out. I got Gus with two stars, level 56. Is he a good champion? Yeah, he's good in some situations. Um, the only thing is... Right now, what I suggest is work on heroes. They're going to help you out in the Hall of Legend. Alright, so this is my recommendation. Work on the heroes. They're going to help you out in the Hall of Legend. And heroes. They're going to help you out in the Prophecy Pool. Alright. I think it's more important to work on heroes. They're going to help you out in the Prophecy Pool. Because you're going to get some pretty good items. You know, like daily stuff every day. So you're going to get these swords. You're going to get this orange item. This mystical dragon scale that you can use. And see, every day you get pretty good items, and it's good to defeat it, you know. So, I suggest work on those. Yeah, you, uh, your face, you're right. I'm pretty sure that Hanzo is going to be good for this one, the Firehawk, the giant Firehawk. I'm almost 100% sure. Alright, so let's claim some dailies here. So, in my opinion, work on guys um, that are going to help you out for those things, alright? Oh! Well, what do you know? I haven't really done any other dailies so far. I've been so busy <laughs> explaining everything. So, Dojo. Um, Valley of the Broken Hellberg. So, it's all a matter of if, if I need Destruction Swords or if I need this um, Scepter right here of the Abyss. I'm going to go for the Scepter of the Abyss because you need like 50 pieces of that. So, yeah. Oh... Tom, 16th place. Hey, Tom, you are a uh, destruction mayhem. I remember you, buddy. Welcome to the stream, man. How you doing? Uh, I didn't see you there earlier, but I'm glad you're here. So you use gold items for enchanting... Wait a minute. What? You're using your gold items to enchant? Phantom, 76. Uh, I wouldn't suggest that, um, Tom. Wait, let me, let me make sure that you're not... What level are you at, first of all? Tom, what level are you? Yeah, Killjoy is... Killjoy is great, guys. I use Killjoy in the arena a lot, so he's really good. And now, he's pretty much a must for this giant gizmo. So, go for Killjoy, you're gonna need him. So, Killjoy, all of a sudden, he became way... A lot of heroes... A lot of heroes got a bump when this... You know, Prophecy Pool open today. A lot of heroes got a huge bump in uh, usefulness. Believe it or not. So, they became a lot more useful. So, like, those rankings... I might have to do, like, a, an update ranking type of thing. Because a lot more heroes are becoming more useful now because of that thing. 
Once I see all of the heroes in the prophecy pool and I see what heroes you need for each one, I'll do a video on each one. I'll might maybe make another video on uh, rankings where I can talk about different rankings because a hero that's useful in the prophecy pool is going to be a hero that everybody should be working on. So keep that in mind. Yeah, homeboy, I usually start at 9, but I decided to do it earlier. I moved the stream an hour earlier because I'm impatient and I didn't want to wait till 9. Because waiting till 9 sucks. I have to sit around, like I said before, like craving to play. <laughs> so I was like, screw this, I just gotta start. Okay, so where was I? If I left somebody's question in the middle... Oh, Tom! Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Tom, you're level 90, so... I don't know why you're using your orange items to enchant, but don't do it, man. Save them. You're going to need them. Trust me. You need all of your orange items. You're better off using blue items. You get plenty of blue items from your, like, chests and stuff like that, so... Alright, so what I'm doing now is I have to... I'm working on Sumiko. Yeah, so Sumiko is the hero that I'm raiding for, so let's go continue with Sumiko. Steel Blade. Yes, Gale is worth upgrading. She's very nice. She's good hero in a lot, a lot of situations, all right? I use Gale in the Crucible of Fire. I use her in Arena. <laughs> a bunch of arenas. And now she's useful in the giant, you know, the Prophecy Pool, giant uh, Gizmo. And she's going to be useful in that giant uh, Firehawk in the Prophecy Pool. Believe me. So that's two places in the Prophecy Pool. So yeah, that she's, she's very good. You should definitely upgrade Gale. Okay, so let's continue on. Let's continue, fellas. Let's continue here. I got another Sumiko. Yes. And... One more here. Oh, I gotta get some diamonds, so... Oh, do you want to consume barbecue skewers? So, there it is. What the hell? Why? What just happened there? So the good, another good thing from the prophecy pool, guys, is you get those barbecue skewers that give you stamina, all right? So I think it gives you like four to like five a day. See, it says, do you want to consume those? But why is it telling me those instead of... So I guess you have to consume those first. Yeah, you have to consume those first in order to buy stamina. I get it. Which is going to help a lot of people, all right? Gale is beast. My Crucible team consists of Riley, Yulfing, Vincent, Jasmine, and Gale. Tom, that's not a bad team. My team is a little bit different. And I pretty much clear it every time. Um, I'll show you really quickly here. But the main component of my team is... Um, let's see. It's usually Ethera. She's the main. So let, I usually use Gale, Leia... Wherever the wind Strike blows, when they least I'll be there. I go with like a Riley. I'm ready for anything. This and this. So I just get Jasmine's ultimate up. And then I substitute Jasmine in for Aqua. I love using Aqua in Crucible of Fire now, guys. Believe it or not, he's very good, Aqua. His ultimate does AoE damage and it lowers their armor. You know, their physical armor, which is perfect because this is an AoE physical team. So when Aqua attacks, the rest of them will pretty much kill it. And I still think Riley is the best tank for here because right, you know, before you're about to finish a fight, you can just use Riley, you know, use her ultimate, get, you know, her health bar all the way to the top, and then that's it. So this is pretty much the team that I run. So now I will take Jasmine out and I put in, um, where is she? I put in Aqua. Oh, this will give me a good chance to use uh, Vespix. Alright, so I'm about to use Vespix after this one in a couple of these fights. So, for this, I'm going to use Gale here real quick. Check it out. Gale will do a ton of damage. And I can just sweep in with Ethera. And she will pretty much finish Ember, finish Osiris, finish everybody off there real quick. So, yeah. Dead meat. And there it is. Gale did a lot. And so does Leia. Leia does a lot of good damage here, too. Uh, Shin Greymon. Shin Greymon. <laughs> I love that. Shin Greymon. Yes. 
Raxius would actually come in handy. It's not a bad idea. So let me just go and use Vespix a couple of times, guys. Vespix, let's do it. Their time is up. Their time is up. So he comes in like a little wasp floating around. I really do like that about him. I think it's pretty sick. Go. The reason why I love using Ethera is because her ultimate will freeze everybody up. It's very, very helpful, guys. Like, it is so helpful you don't even know because what you don't want to do... And look at him. When he's done, he makes a fair maiden. And I, I heard from a lot of people say that that is eventually going to be a hero in the game. You know, that Vespix uh, fair maiden thing. It's going to be a hero later on, all right? I use like you, uh, ZYV, you use the same team, but you use Gale, I mean Tanya instead of Gale. Not bad. I could see that. Alright, so let's go with the same team and let's check out some more Vespix. Yes, you're right, uh, Big Hands John. Wait, no, who said that? Photo Clana. So that's uh, Vespix Ultimate, guys. What he does is he uses those tornadoes going both ways and it stuns the opponent which is very helpful oh no Riley got it real good there go Gale yeah so what I love to do is I love to have heroes that will interrupt with their ultimate in the crucible of fire all right because I don't want to take no hot no hits here I like using all my heroes. Uh, big hands, John. Yeah, actually, I do that sometimes too. I go with like a bunch of different teams at times. Pretty much, I like what I do is I go up to twelve with you know this my you know the the same team. So I go up to stage twelve. Where is it? So let's use Aqua. Up to stage twelve, I go with this team because it goes quick. You know, they sweep it through, and then the last three stages, I just go with any team because once you make it to those three stages and you have a bunch of P heroes in reserve. It's really not that big of a deal. Yeah, uh, Gorehound. That is pretty sick when, uh, sick when Vespix finishes. I do like that about him as well. I think it's pretty sick and I, I don't know how... You know what? I don't know how the developers do these things, man. I think it's incredible. It's something that I can never do, but... The codes they write, you know, with all these things are insane. How do they do that? Like, how do you write a code to have a hero in the game when he's finishing a battle to chop up a log and turn it into, like, this beautiful thing? Like, how do the freak do they even do that? It's insane. I give him a lot of props, though. I think it's really sick. So here it is. W look at Aqua. He's created a clone of Hanzo there, and it's behind Hanzo. So I love that about Aqua. Because, look, Hanzo is attacking that one now. He's attacking his clone. Um, Outlandish. Ezio. VD93. VD93. What's up? Welcome to the family, man. I'm glad you can join us. Thanks for the follow. Alright, so Ezio, Gus, Ethera, Jasmine, and Tanya. Outlandish. Hey, that's not a bad team. I might try that team out. Actually, let's go try it out right now, buddy. I'll do you one better. I'll show it to you. And this way you can judge for yourself. Who's attacked us? What the hell? Man, did we get dropped big time. But let's go for this guy, the Joker. Let's take him out. Alright, so what was that team, Outlandish? Ezio, Gus, Ethera, Jasmine? Alright, so Ezio... Alright, let me... Ezio... Gus, I know it's Jasmine, Ethera, and then your choice was either Tanya or Gale. Alright, I would probably go with Gale because you don't have a backliner here. I like her boost in physical. And I like her boost in um, silence. Mr. Nun. Thanks, buddy. Thank you for the follow. Alright, so let me check out this team. Kelso, what is your team there? Leon, Leia, Seraphin, Osiris, and Jasmine. Hmm. Leia, Leon, Leia. It's not a bad team. It's a, it's a pretty good team, actually. 
Be sure, remind me to try that out, team, after this one. But not in the arena, because obviously I won't have any attempts. I have to try it out somewhere else. So let me check out this team. This team is looking pretty good here, but I'm going to take a big Gale hit here. Oh, yeah, that Gale hit hurt. Ezio is done. Jasmine is about to get an ultimate, which is good. But I'm taking some heavy damage here. Yes, Jasmine at the right time. And there's Ethera. Ethera just in the nick of time. She whooped in. She took out three heroes there. Mortis, Dokras, and Gale at once. But he still has Riley, which scares me. And he's got Drago too. Another Ethera ultimate. Wow. Alright, so Ethera took out um, Drago there. But he still got Riley. So it's pretty much two on one. Riley versus Ethera and Jasmine. Let's see what happens. Oh my god, it's so close. 16 seconds. Come on, don't do it to me, Riley. Shit, he took out Jasmine. Ethera versus Riley. One on one. Go, Ethera! Ah, she did it. Ethera won. Perfect. It did it. That team worked out. It worked. That's the damage right there. It's pretty much evened out. I think everybody did pretty good. So yeah, that's a pretty good team. Um, Who was that? I forgot who that was. I gotta go up in the thing. But, alright, so let me switch it up. I'm gonna try out that team on defense, my friend. So it's Gale. Wherever the wind blows, I'll be there. Who was it? Gale, uh, Jasmine, Gus, and Ethera, right? Like this. Yes. Let's see how they do on defense, alright? We'll try it out like this. Alright, so I, you guys have a lot of teams here that you want me to try out, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish up my dailies real quick, alright? And then I'll do some battles with your, you know, your team or your suggestions. I'll do those in uh, the mines because I think that's the best way to test out teams because the teams that I'm going to face, they're all going to be at orange, so it's going to be pretty good. So I guess I got to work on some skills here. Everybody's skills is already upgraded so i guess the only hero that i've been working on now is sumiko and i only work on five skills per day all right so it looks like in two days she should be done one more yeah that's fine come on game connecting here All right, Photo, what is your riddle? How you can have eight times the same hero in one battle? Eight times of the same hero, huh? Uh, pretty easy. You just go in the battle with Vernos, uh, you know, like, who makes clones? <laughs> Aqua makes clones. Pretty much every hero that makes clones. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Killjoy can make clones. Um, is that the riddle? Outlandish is not B Joker. Okay, what the hell does that mean? So what else? Oh, enchant. So I gotta enchant and it's perfect time to enchant my Vespix. And for Vespix, I'm only enchanting one item at a time because... It's no really use to enchant everything at once because right now I'm not using him in any particular, you know, place. I'm kind of using him just for fun around. But at three stars, he's, they can't give, they can't be competitive in battle, and um, it's kind of hard to find a good place for them at three stars. So until they, you know, you can get them to like six, seven stars, that's when you'll really know the potential of a hero. So right now, I can enchant them one by one. So I don't have to rush. Alright, so there it is. That's fully enchanted. It's got some extra health, some nice physical armor, and some nice dodge rating. So that's good things all the time. Perfect. Alright, so now, where are we going to go with this? Where are we going to go? Hmm. So pretty much only thing is I have to do is... Let's... Mercenary camp here. I guess nobody needed Jasmine. Wait a minute. Somebody could use somebody for that uh, prophecy pool. Right? So I'm sure they probably have a Joker. 
Maybe somebody needs somebody like a, um, a Vernos? Yeah, you can use Vernos in that prophecy pool. Go ahead, guildmates. If you need Vernos, take him. Alright, guys. So now this is the time that I'm going to do a few battle team battles so we can test out some teams that you guys might have a question about. So let me know. Let's, let's try some teams here and let's see how they work. Pawnage, welcome to the stream. Did you miss a lot? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I'm sorry because I started a little bit earlier. But, uh... Alright, so here's a team with orange and one purple plus four. But we can attack this guy's level 90. So what team do you guys want to try out? Alright, Kelso, this is the team. Leon... Let's try that out. Leon, Leia, Seraphin, Osiris, and Jasmine. So Osiris, wait, that's Arachna. Osiris, Seraphin, and Jasmine. All right, let's try it. The only problem with this team is, actually, you got pretty much everything there. So let's check it out. If Leon dies, it's gonna be a problem because Leia's defenses are not high. So Leia will die fast. So Leon pretty much has to survive the whole time and let's see how they do here so here's a uh, seraphim this is good man I can't wait to awaken my seraphim guys I can't wait she's gonna be so awesome so yeah so far so good this team is looking good here oh and the jasmine ultimate perfect really nice Kelso this team did good here So game over, and Seraphin is the MVP, look at that. And let's check out the damage counter here. Woo, look at that, Osiris did a lot more than I thought, but yeah, so Seraphin, I knew was the MVP. So, pretty good team. Alright, so Tom, he wants me to try Killjoy, Vernos, Aethera, Seraphin, and Slim. Alright, let's try that out, buddy, let's try that out. Killjoy, Vernos... Ethera, Seraphin, Slim. Slime. Alright. This guy's level 87. So let's search again. I want to find somebody level 90. I don't want to, you know, take on an 87. Alright, perfect. Level 90. Let's go. Alright. Vernos. Hang on, guys. If you give me teams too fast, I'll miss them. One at a time. Let's see. So I know it was... Vernos, Killjoy, what was it, Seraphin, and who was the last one? On. Slim. Alright, so this is not bad. You have magic, you have physical, you have two tanks. Yeah, this could work. Let's see how this does, guys. Let's see how this does. Gorehound. Oh, yeah. I mean, like I said before, that team... Is good with an Arachna tank because I've used the Arachna tanks before. So with an, if you have a Arachna tank, what you want to do in back of it is pretty much do heroes that do a lot of damage fast, like Slim, Gale, Ethera, Garic. So it'll work. You just have to face the right lineup. So I know it'll work. And this team is doing great here. I'm not sure why some teams. When you, when you test them out in these caves, they kill it, but when it comes to real arena, they suck. Why is that? But here it is. So the three backliners or midliners did great. Yeah, they did really good. Alright, so next team. Gabriel. Here's a team. Try out Drago, Thalen, Garic, Kara, and Slim. All right, Gabriel. Oh, I hit search again. Okay. Let's see. Level 88. No. Search again. Find me a strong level 90 team. Come on. Level 90. Okay. Everybody got a floor. What the hell is that? All right. So what is that, Gabriel? Drago, Thalen, Garic. Drago. I thirst for the... Fallen, Garic, Slim, and Kara, huh? Let's go raise some hell. We'll put them in the gray. We'll okay, let's go. I love Kara, guys. I think that Kara is a perfect arena hero. She's gonna be really, really strong in arena when, uh, you know, she's six, seven stars. Cause I feel like she's made for the arena. 
any hero that will, you know, stall and make people go to sleep is good. Alright, so downer, Lucius, Lucius, Gus, did you, oh, I think you put Lucius twice downer. Lucius, Lucius, Gus, Xanos, and Leo. Yeah, see, these teams are killing it in this damn thing. Alright, so let me try a one more team here, guys, and then... I think it's enough for these all oh, oh, caves. And uh wait, and oh god damn it, I can't even say that. And Scon Mayor. And Scon Mayor. <laughs> I'm sorry if I fucked up your name. But Leon, Arachna, Leia, Garic, and Slim. Alright, let's try that out. Let's try that out. Leon. So everybody loves using Slim, huh? Arachna, Garic, and Slim. Arachna, this will be Garic, Leia. Strike when they least expect it. That's a pretty good team. But, I mean, Arachna is your magic user there. So, yeah, as long as you have a mix with magic and uh, magic and uh, physical, you should be alright. Oh, that's right, before I... Before, all right, one more battle, guys, because I gotta use Vespix. I forgot about Vespix. That's right, visual effects. Vespix, Arachna, Aethera, Dokras, and Jasmine. Uh, okay. The only problem is, you want me to use Vespix as my tank? We'll try it, but I'm not sure if Vespix is a great tank, though. I feel like Vespix is a great DPS tank, meaning, like, you should use them when you need DPS in your front line. Leo did great here. Alright, so one more battle, visual effects, best picks, just because he has best picks, because I forgot to use best picks. Level 90, okay, nice team here. Let's go. So what do we got here? I know it's best picks, so let's go all the way down and put in best picks. What else? Time is up. Arachna, Ethera, Dokras, and Jasmine. Okay, Jasmine, Ethera, Arachna, and Dokras. Arachna, and Dokras. Let's see how Vespix hold it, holds it down here in the... As a tank. So here he goes. Okay, boom. He's already... He's already fallen in love with Flora. <laughs> Alright, and he's dead. See what I'm telling you? Vespix... He's gonna be a really, 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 really good DPS hero, meaning he's gonna deal a lot of damage, but you're gonna need a tank in front of him. I don't think that he can be your front tank. Just, you pretty much have to. Halitrix! Yes, man, I have already started an hour ago. I kind of put it out there that I was gonna... I moved my stream time to 8 o'clock. Because... 9 o'clock is kind of late for a lot of people, and, uh, yes, so I, I, my new time is gonna be 8 o'clock, I think it's a better time, 8 o'clock, um, it's easier for a lot of people to make, and, uh, I don't know, I'm just trying out a new time just to see if it's better for people, it's better for me, because 9 o'clock, I, sucks, whoa, Arachna killed it there, but, yeah, 9 o'clock, I just have to wait, even another hour because I pretty much have to wait all day to play the game so the if it was up to me I'll play at 3 o'clock in the afternoon but it's not up to me I have to do it at a later time all right I just want it at a time where pretty much everybody can be on the same page oh right we've been attacked by the same guy the Joker but we won so let's check it out guys let's check out the replay here and see how this team did Could be a pretty good team here. Right now, here it's uh, it's about to be nine o'clock. I started at eight. It's nine in, at night. Right, Tom. Vespix is not a solo tank. He has to be a support tank all the way. He's a lot like uh. 
There's a couple of support tanks that I see, but he's not... The weird thing is, is like, Killjoy... Killjoy is a great support tank, but he won't do much damage, but he'll support. Vespix is gonna be a great damage tank. You wanna put him with somebody who doesn't deal much damage, right? It's all about matching the heroes up together. And what the hell is happening with this battle? It's like... Sucking. J. Keith, 94. 4 in the morning? Holy scrivoli. 3.55? Holy moly. Tarth is also a good support. Yes. Tarth is gonna be a great support um, when she's released as well. So yeah. That's the point. A lot of these heroes are great support tanks. But you can't use them as the tank or else they're dead. So how the hell did I win this here? It's pretty much Jasmine and Torsen one on one. And I feel like it probably was a timeout because he couldn't take him down. Yes, timeout. So this was a timeout loss. Huh, weird. Very strange. Okay, so we've done that. We've done everything. The only thing left to do is I gotta do some... Uh, raids but i'll do that a little bit later okay and that's about it guys we've almost come near the end but yeah so any more questions you guys need to ask ask away because i'm about to do the giveaway guys stream is about to be over what is the one and only imba in the game for your opinion what the hell is imba Heisenberg. I don't know what IMBA is. Yeah, if you if you purchase Tarth uh, Gorehound, um, as a, I think she's gonna be very useful when when this guy is released. Trust me, you'll it'll pay off dividends when this guy is released. Like in one, two, in three days, when you have to face the giant Firehog, then Tarth is gonna be very useful. You'll find out. Oh, imbalanced. So, who's the most imbalanced hero in the game? Um, uh, let me just think. I don't really think there is an imbalanced hero. To be honest, pretty much every hero has a weakness. You just have to find it. A lot of people say that Ezio is imbalanced or whatever, but he's not. If you know how to counter Ezio, then you could definitely counter him. And everybody else has a weakness. They don't release out any heroes that are just OP for everybody. There's always counters to them, alright? So, uh, like, there's great heroes. Really, really, like, Ezio is a great hero. But I don't think that he's unbeatable. There is no unbeatable hero. I love this guy. But yeah, I think all heroes are pretty useful in different situations, in my opinion. So yeah, um, Gorehound, yes, there is a giveaway. I do a 500 diamond giveaway every Thursday stream, all right? So to one lucky winner, in like two minutes, I'm gonna give it away, all right? And actually, you know what I can do? Because what it takes is, when I do the giveaway, you have to write in the comments to be eligible for it. So let me start this up really quickly here. So we can uh, kind of begin the giveaway, but I won't do it just yet. What I can do is, um, so let's just close off the game really quickly here and uh, put this here let me turn off the game all right so it's dead silence now no gameplay so pretty much now what happens is once you write into the comments from now you know from here on out guys you'll be entered for the giveaway all right so you have to write in the comments this way I know you're here because I don't know why this thing works like that. It's just how it works. I don't know why. So yeah. So enter something in the comments. You know, say whatever you want to do. And then what I'm going to do is just roll. Right? I'm just pretty much going to hit this roll button. <laughs> with my magic finger. And then one lucky winner is going to win the 500 diamonds. And then, you know, Lilith is going to send it to you through the game in the mail. Alright? Last week it was Helitrix. Helitrix. Helitrix the battle won. So, this week is going to be somebody else, hopefully, unless he's so lucky. If he's lucky to win it twice, then my hat's off to him, dude. That would be, that would be insane. And I, I, I think, what was it, the week before that one, Lisa won, if you guys remember. 
Team Torres won, but she's part of the community, so she, you know, didn't feel right winning it, so she gave it away. She was like, let somebody else win it, right? So. Oh, Haltrix, you won two weeks ago. That's right. Who was last week's winner? I'm trying to think. I completely forgot these things. All right, so we got 29 entered so far, all right? 29. So the rest, though there's 42 watching, 29 have entered. So I have a feeling there's like 10 people on who just watch me to just watch. Or they don't play the game. Is that true? If that's I want to I want to I want somebody just to say, "Yes, I am here for no reason, just to watch you for no reason." <laughs> I don't care about the giveaway. I'm sure there's a few people that don't really care about the giveaway, but there's three more. So 32, we're at 32. So maybe still about like 10 people. Oh, that's right. Last week it was somebody from my own freaking guild. I didn't even know it. <laughs> That's right, it was Eric, right? It was somebody Eric. But the weird thing is, is he wanted it for a different server. He didn't even want it for our server. He said, oh, give it to my other server. You guys are not even important. That other server is where it's at. <laughs> yeah, Gorehound, Gorehound, see? You came for the stream, and you find out there's a giveaway. And if you win, man, that'd be awesome. All right, so we have 34 now, guys, 34. I guess what I can do is maybe start, right? Let's start, and whoever is ready for me to start, just uh, yell I'm ready. <laughs> Did anybody fall for that? Please tell me somebody yelled I'm ready. <laughs> that would be funny. Even though I have no idea of knowing, but that would be funny. <laughs> Phantom, I'm on server 16. But we're, we've kind of already merged. We've merged 15, 16, 17, and 18. We have like four servers. All right, guys, so let's go. I'm going to count down from five. So if, well, there's one more. So I'm going to count down from five and I'm going to roll. All right. So here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Go! Famous Buro is the winner. Who the hell is Famous Buro? You won, buddy. You won. You did it, young fella. You're in. <laughs> Famous Buro. Wow, congratulations, man. You won, my friend. Now... Famous Burrow, just pretty much you have to give me your, um, you have to give me your in-game name and your server, right? And, uh, if you want, give me your, uh, actually give me your ID number. That would be nice. ID, number, and, uh, server. That's what they want. And then they can send you the diamonds in the mail, all right? So, Famous Burrow, let's find out what server you're on, buddy. All right? Famous Burrow, I, I I've, I've never even seen him in the chat. How did he sneak up behind me like that? I didn't even notice you sneaking in. But I'm glad you won, my friend. You deserve it. You're a good guy. I'm sure you're a good guy. And I'm sure that your mom is very proud. <laughs> and I hope that you use this 500 diamonds very, you know, wisely. Don't spend it all at once. This is my opinion. You know, do something good with it, buddy. <laughs> Tom, I'm at, like I said, I'm at server 16. 16, 1, 6. Gorehound, I, no, you already entered, buddy. You're in there. Like, look at the screen. You don't really have to do anything to enter. Pretty much all you have to do is just be active in the chat. So once server 20, server 2? Wow, famous bro. You're like one of the beginners. You're an OG. You're probably way ahead of me. Well, not ahead because pretty much everybody's stuck at level 90, but you've been playing for before I did. Yeah, OG. Awesome, man. I'm glad. So just give me your... I got your server. Now I just need your in-game 
ID number. So go on your game, in-game uh, number there. ZYV37. Tom, you're from server 3. So you're you're pretty much, you know, a big time player too. Wait, didn't, wasn't there a merger between server 2 and 3 or something like that? Right? Wasn't one of the earlier uh, servers... Um, Downer is from server one. Wow. Yeah, you guys are OGs, man. You guys are playing way before me. Perfect. You got it. Famous Burrow. Congratulations, man. Um, after the stream, I'm going to send it over to Lilith. And then there's just... You know, sometimes it takes them a while. But sometimes they do it really quick. I'm not sure. You know, they're really busy. But be on the lookout. It should be in the mail. Not... You know, not far from now. So, yeah, I'm, I'm glad you won, man. So, yeah, 2 and 3 got merged. So, a lot of you guys might be in the same server. Who knows? Isn't that funny? <laughs> All right. So, let's call it a night, guys. Because it's 9 o'clock now. And I should be getting some work done around the house, I think, right? <laughs> or probably I'm going to finish... I should have to finish my Crucible of Fire run. How about that? So... I am, you know, happy you guys joined me today. I really appreciate you guys are, I love you guys. If it wasn't for you guys, you know, supporting me, I would have stopped, you know, doing this a long time ago because think about it. If there's nobody watching, what's the point of streaming, right? Just talking to myself in a mirror and my family laughing at me. And you guys already know how I got my, uh, my YouTube channel name. I said that last week. So my dad, take that dad. <laughs> So yeah, so I'll see you guys, um, uh, if you guys know, I stream on um, Sundays really early, well not really early, but around like 3 or around like 4 o'clock I like to stream on Sundays, Sunday's a lot of fun, everything is open, and usually I get to like, um, you know, do my awakening stuff by Sunday, so yeah, I like to do that on Sundays, and then uh, if not, I'll catch you guys on next Thursday stream, alright, by that time, I'll have a bunch more videos coming out, so you guys keep up, tomorrow, it will be the new Prophecy Pool video, I'll show you guys how to do it, and I'll show you all the possible heroes that you can use, you know, and that's about it, I love you guys, you guys are my number one family, well, that kind of sounds fucked up, if my family's watching this, you guys are my number one, <laughs> but, Anyways, I'll see you guys next time, all right? Love you all. Have a good night, good morning, good afternoon. And I screwed up the order. I'll see you guys on the next one, all right? Be good, guys. Love you. <laughs>